Get the upper hand on your competition with scuff controllers. Use code OGXRACE to get 5% off your entire order. Yo guys, what's up? It's x -Rays. Welcome back to another Fortnite video, guys. So we have uh, this post that was posted eight hours ago by Sam, but different. Um, and apparently it's leaked info for season five. Now, I want to believe it a little bit just because it, it, it follows the leaks that we had before a while ago by Internet Adam. Now, for you guys who don't know who that is, I've been talking about him recently, uh, honestly. And, and, you know, he was this guy currently getting sued by Epic Games for leaking information on Season 4. Or I should say, the person who gave Internet Adam the leaks is actually getting sued at the moment. Internet Adam, who knows what the hell happened to him. He, he fell off the side of the map. He's gone. He, he, he jumped and he went back to Spot Island. But, uh, so anyways, uh, Internet Adam a while ago started leaking a ton of information here for Season 4, and then finally he mentioned that Season 5 was going to have a few things. I made a whole video about that. Check that out. Link down below. That video did amazing. Huge thank you to everyone who checked out that video and subbed and, you know, did all that good stuff from that one. And by the way, if you guys do go on and enjoy this video, guys, if you're new, make sure you guys are subbed. I try to cover the best and fastest leaked info, rumors, leaks, and more here for Fortnite. So if you're not subbed already, what are you doing? Make sure you're subbed and have those notifications on by slapping that bell icon. Icon and, and obviously drop a like on the video but you know internet adam leaked information he talked about expansion he talked about moisty Meyer being completely destroyed he talked about there being a creature inside of the meteor and that you know essentially we did get that we got the new blockbuster skin which was the visitor who came out of there essentially before he said that we we're gonna get a leviathan that it was gonna come out it was gonna be a giant creature and he, even as recently as this new leak skins that came out that which i covered that video as well Again, I try to cover all this stuff as best as I can for you guys. Links to everything I'm talking about down below for you guys that want to check out those videos. But I'll give you guys a quick recap. We got a ton of new skins that came out recently uh, that were leaked in the game files with this new recent update here for Fortnite. With that update, we not only got those skins, but we got information on a possibility of linking or, or, or giving some legitimacy to a leak from a while ago. Uh, and this information was essentially one of the new skins, which is a detective skin. He was holding, a, he has a backpack that has a special image that mentions Moisty Meyer, the giant footprint that is apparently found uh, just uh, south, or I should say northwest of Greasy Grove. There's a giant footprint over there. And then it also mentions um, uh, Dusty Divot. So there's like Dusty Divot, there's the footprint, and then there's Moisty Meyer. And this all correlates to a leak that we got a while ago that said that we're going to have a brand new 50 versus 50 mode. In that mode, you were going to be trying to escort a giant creature from uh, from Greasy Grove to Wailing Woods or vice versa. You were trying to get it to the other side and there was no building in that mode. So it was a crazy idea. People chalked it up as this is fake. And then we got these leaked skins, which again, I covered along with all the other skins. Check that video out. Uh, but again, that backpack has references to Dusty Divot, to the giant footprint, and then also Moisty Meyer, which is already confirmed to be the location that's going to be destroyed by that rocket because of code leaks. Again, there's so many leaks, guys. There's so much going on. Uh, but yeah, so the rocket's going to hit Moisty. It's correlating to uh, the idea that Moisty was going to get destroyed by Internet Adam. And now this guy by Sam, but different, posted information that correlates with that. So I wanted to give you guys a backstory there. Let's jump into his information now. I'm sorry that took so long, but I wanted to give you guys a little background. Uh, but anyways, let's read what he posted. He posted... And this, like, this sounds totally fake, but again, guys, it correlates to that other stuff, pieces it together. But it says, my friend spoke with Epic employees and told me that season four end slash season five setup. Basically, the visitor skin, Blockbuster skin, is using the rocket to go home. The rocket fails and lands in Moisty Mire and ruins the world. They want the world to go back to normal, so they build a time machine to take them back. This brings them back into the time of the past, which is what season five is. History themed example Greek Roman Egyptian and we've been hearing about these rumblings a lot guys like this like history theme I think I covered it recently as well in a video But uh, I, I think this is a really cool idea if there's like a history thing But moving on he says there will be an extension to the map which will fill in that indentation into the land around C8 now the land around C8 is just just below Greasy Grove, there's like a little divot there that looks like it could be filled in. I'll try to put an image here for you guys to see what I'm talking about for C8. 
Uh, but that's also what I covered in that Giant League video that got did very, very well. Uh, we talked about how the map was going to have expansion, and it looks like this is confirming that as well, that that bottom C8 area might actually be something new. Now, what is going to be there? Well, he says the time machine will be located on this extension, so they're going to add a little bit, and apparently that time machine will be there. I don't know if it'll be interactable. That'll be also something that we'll have to look into, but I'm super freaking excited he ended his post by putting, I know this explanation is a little all over the place, but when season five arrives, come back to this post, I will probably be correct. So we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this when season five comes out. And if this guy is legit, like watch out at Internet Adam, we've got someone else who's leaking stuff, bro. Your old news, your old news and Samba different is taken over. So I am so freaking hyped for uh, season five like i'm so 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 excited for that we can't wait to see what happens with that guys but again i'll leave a link to that reddit post down below and uh and apart from that i wanted to talk about a few other things that happened today usually i try to focus on one big thing and then we'll ramble on a little bit about other stuff including playgrounds which got delayed again and then uh, a little bit of other info as well just my thoughts and opinions on this stuff So these leaks are pretty insane. Uh, I was just looking right now and it says that C8, the area that they're going to fill in is just around here, which is where apparently this time machine is going to be located. So this area right here apparently is where they're planning on expanding, which is absolutely insane. Now, I'm only really inclined to believe this because it matches up with some of the other leaks that was uh, leaked by Internet Adam, who currently is being sued by <laughs> Epic Games. Um... Uh, but this matches up. Now, the only thing that kind of feels a little wonky about this, like I was saying, was uh, that the time machine was an idea that was initially a theory that people had. That, uh, you know, there was a time machine that was going to take them back in time and change all this stuff. The whole uh, history theme is a, is a theme that they have been um, planning, uh, you know, have been people have been talking about recently. So that's another one of those where it's like, kind of feels like they're mashing things together. But... Uh, we'll definitely have to see about that. Uh, it, it's it's an interesting theory, so we'll just have to see if uh, if it ends up working. But I mean, I'm excited. I can't wait. We're still quite a bit away from uh, any kind of leak talk or any kind of info, so we'll have to see if any of that actually ends up coming true. And if it isn't, we'll go back and we'll check that out. But for you guys that want to check out that uh, Reddit post, I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description below. Uh, we're trying the brand new 50 versus 50 mode. I think we're going to go pleasant. I don't know where the rest of my team wants to go. Um, wow, one of these guys wants to go across the line. Why would he want to do that? Sorry, buddy. That's going to be you on your own. I am not going over there. I'm going over here. If you want to go over there and die, by all means, it's, it's your decision, man. But... <laughs> Anyways, guys. So, the other thing I wanted to talk about really quickly was the Playgrounds mode. It looks like it was... Completely delayed till next week. That's another one of those uh, like announcements that I was like super bummed about. I was really, 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 really looking forward to that, and it just didn't happen. Didn't happen. And for what are these guys doing over there? Forget them, man. They they're placing down their beacons down super freaking late. Ain't nobody got time for that, man. I'll meet up with them later. I don't care. I got plenty of teammates here. We got fifty of them for for Christ's sake. All right, so yeah, that's another one of those things that I was like. What the like why why did they just delay it there was issues with the matchmaking and i mean it almost feels like they should have known this was going to happen you know because it's like literally four people only on an island i mean what did you what you expect you know what i'm saying like it, it feels like that was one of those things that they should have thought about it before it happened uh, and it just it's i don't know it just it feels like it was such a dumb thing to happen and like they should have prepped for it but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say anything you know it, it is what it is. We'll get it when it comes, and hopefully it'll be fun when it does come. But, but yeah, so we got leaks. We got, you know, playground mode being freaking delayed. Everyone was kind of bono super, like, hyped for that and ended up not happening. You know, I was actually really, really excited for that, and unfortunately that did not go through. Um, I wanted to practice my building, man, because I feel like that's, that's the one thing I'm lacking to get way better at this game i've been getting a little bit better at building uh it's still honestly not that great so i don't know i was just i was kind of excited i was going to work on my building so fortunately it doesn't look like that's going to happen oops oh god guys i just recently swapped out what my paddles do on my scuff controller so i apologize for that 
you know what? This has been this has been pretty good. I gotta get used to my scuff controller though. Because I, I, I put triangle as one of the paddles. I got four paddles on my scuff impact controller. For you guys who don't know what scuff is, they're controllers that give you uh they, they give you like little paddles on them and you can use those to get like a competitive advantage advantage. You can use my code OGX for this to get five percent off it, so check that out, link down below. Uh, I just wanted to toss that out just because I, I, I'm still getting used to it. Every time I swap out these paddles, I used to have my score streaks in Call of Duty as my third paddle, and now I have it as my swapping between weapons and pickaxe, my triangle button, essentially. I'm playing as a freaking skin. Default. Oh, yeah. Look at me. I finally got to use this roar. I keep forgetting to activate them anytime I kill someone. They, they got like a million porta forts. What is this? What is this crazy land? This is season five. <laughs> Dude, there's, there's freaking dudes all the way up there! Look at this! Oh my god, there's literally a dude just staying up there. It's just like total craziness. People are just whooping each other's ass. Oh, there's some dudes over that way. Oh, if you crawl your ass over here, I can pick you up. Oh, never mind. Rip that ass, bro. Sit your ass down. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Where are these dudes at? Well, that's where they're at. Hey, what up? What up, fam? There's only two dudes left. Where are they hiding? Where are they hiding, boys? Where are they hiding? They're just putting launch pads everywhere. Ooh, what's over here? Ah! Let's go! Roar! Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about the brand new leaks. We got time travel. We've got expansion over by. Let me. Sh I can't even show you guys on the map, but just to the just south of Greasy Grove. Apparently, there's going to be a uh, a brand new area, new time machine area. We're going back in time. It's going to destroy everything. New history theme. If that's true, I'm super hyped. Again, check out that Reddit post down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like on the video, guys. Super, super appreciated and incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more content like this, then obviously make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload from me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys take care. If you want to support the channel directly, you guys make sure to check out my sponsorships. You get access to early content, exclusive videos, and the special badge. It shows up in all my live streams and in the comment sections of all my videos. So check that out only if you are willing and able to. But anyways, you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Take care. Follow me on Twitter at OGXRays. Self-promotion. <laughs> take care, guys. I'm out. Peace.